I'm going to show you some basic clinch drills that are very important and, and they'll, get you, they'll get you going and um, get you thinking the right way. So very simple drills, but um, yeah, super useful. They're the building blocks for, for everything with clinch. Let's, let's start. All right, so let's just grab hold of me, any position. Now from here, what we're gonna do is, first, make sure you're in clinch stance. So have a look at my feet. I'm on the, I'm on the uh, balls of my feet. So you, don't, you can be flat sometimes, uh, but let's say a default is just slightly above, so you can kind of bounce and pop off some quick knees. Now, the upper body, your, your chin, pull it back. Just think of this, so watch this. Go on a wall, just so you get this movement correct. Pull the chin back, let the head touch the wall, and now I've lengthened my, the back of my neck. That, that's your neck, strongest neck position in clinch. So I'm kind of like that. A lot of people like this, or the, one of the worst ones is this, like that. Come. Hey, pull my neck down like this, you're going to have nothing, right? Because a lot of people do that, like try to resist, but what you have to do is like that. Now you pull it back, pull it down, yeah. I mean, yeah. So let me try yours, pull, yeah, that's gonna be strong, cool. When you do that also, if someone's putting some resistance, you don't wanna like add resistance because then once they let go, they'll, your head will go flying and they can throw elbows. So anyway, you have that, that straight neck and uh, I'll see how you let me, yeah, tuck it in. Cool, just think there's a wall behind you. Boom, that's it. All right, so now we're in that position. So we grab, and you can grab one on the back of the neck, one on the joint. It's actually not, it's not that, um, it's not that important. I'm mean, sorry, it's not that, it's not the biggest deal. The main thing is just be stable and the main thing is um, having at least one hand holding on and because that protects you from things. So let's grab me. So if I do hold on a joint, I'm, I'm um, kind of like trapping it. If it was loose, but throw this elbow to my face. Wow, yeah, that one would be an upward, up one. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, boom. <clears throat> so that, this one, I have to keep it locked and trapped. Um, sorry, I've got to keep it firm and just not loose, all right? So you, you hold on. Now, the first thing we'll practice is, first we'll just practice knee back and forth. When you knee in, in, in training, make sure that you knee with the soft part of your, of your thigh so we're here, I'm gonna go pop like that, or on this side, pop, okay? And that's for two reasons. One, so you don't break your uh, uh, partner's ribs, because it's very easy to, to break, a little tap with the, sometimes just a little tap of the kneecap and you, you bust each other's ribs. And two, it, it teaches you, it forces you and teaches you to spring, spring. For me to hit, for me to hit on this part, I have to extend my hip which is a good thing, because when you fight, all I've got to do is shift it one inch, you know, and I'll go, I'll go through her body. So it's in your best interest to, to, to learn how to spring. So we'll go back and forth. I won't go, uh, I won't spend much time on this because this is, I want to move on. So we're going to go pop, and then you go, pop, yeah, pop, pop, good. Now from here, from your stance, try to just kind of push off the ground and pop it up from there. Boom, there you go. Boom, one more. Boom. 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 Good. When you knee, when you knee to the side, practice slapping it so it comes up and it turns, you turn the hip. So it's this motion. A lot of people go like this. They go, they just go straight up and it jams and so make it a nice clean slappy. Like uh, get some space. Wind up. Go, wind up. Boom, that's better. One more. Boom, yeah, one more. Boom, all right, that's good. Always hit above the hip. If you're too short and someone's too tall, you hit the thigh. So we're here. Boom, yeah, you can go hit the thigh. Boom, all right. Never hit the hip. In a fight, it's going to hurt you. And inspiring, I mean, it's, in clinching, it's not going to... Wasting time doing that. Now, let, let's practice um, ev evading some, some knees. So... When I knee with this side, you're gonna step this foot mm -hmm. here, and then you're gonna turn. Boom. And, all right, we'll just do that for now without the knees, without the counter. So I throw a knee, good. When you do it with a partner for the first time, 
to learn things, you've got to simplify it. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do three on each side so you can focus on the steps and, and, get, it, and get it done. So um, never rush. You know, you're, you're, you're not going to be efficient. You slow things down and once you've got it, you, you build from there. So I'm going to do th three times on this side. Good. All right, we got that. Good. One more. All right. Now when you do it, this foot should go d more closer to mine, not, not out. Mm -hmm. All right. When I knee, it's, it's probably going to hit you, but that's fine. It takes the edge off just by stepping. So watch. If I'm, uh, wait, knee with that one, just my step moves my body. So even if I don't have enough time to spin around, I'm still avoiding 20, 30, 40%. I'm taking the edge off by 20, 30, 40%. So it's not going to be a full power knee. So what I'm saying is the most important thing is just focus on the step. The step is 80% of the work. The step has to be next to your partner slash opponent's foot. So your step has to be where? Exactly. Now do the other side. So I'm going to knee you on this side. Boom. All right, perfect. When you, when you turn, make sure your hands are locked. So you don't want to turn and give me some slack. So lock them like you're, a, you're one fixed piece and you'll go like that. And then that'll kind of, that'll throw me off balance. Now we're going to add, so that's good, yeah, you got that? All right. Now we're going to add, let's, let's move up around here. Now you're going to add a counter. So when you, so you're going to need me here. I step, I turn, and I land. So you can see my feet, I land in, a, in, a, in my stance. Yep. Boom. So we'll only do a couple of these. So, oh, sorry, oh. I didn't tell you. Oh, yeah. We're going with that one. And tell your partner first what you're doing. Then later, at the end, like get good at it a little bit, and at the end, you do freestyle where then you challenge them. But when you're learning something for the first time, make it predictable. So you learn, so you focus on the steps. You're not focused on being spontaneous just yet. All right? Very important. And this is learning how to learn. All right. Okay. So here. Yeah. Oh, and bam, good. But you, you, you. I need to pull back. I mean, no, where'd I you need me? Where'd you need me? You needed in the wrong spot. Oh, it has to be right here. Not necessarily. Oh, no, no, right there too. You, yeah, but you were kneeing like here in the groin. Oh, okay, okay. You can do that in the street, but not, okay. not in Thai boxing. <laughs> Boom. Boom. All right, perfect. All right, that's that. Now, so you, you, that, you could use that for uh, avoiding knees. So that's kind of a defense. Or two, um, uh, disorientating your opponent. So just, just throwing them off balance just by moving. So instead of just standing there, it's kind of like boxing, you know, sh 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 change angle, you're being more active and it's, it's, it's harder and more, more uh, it's harder work for your opponent to, to keep up. So as you're clinching, you spin, move, knee, it, there's a little bit more activity, a little bit more action and it's, it's not as easy for your opponent to, to get fixed. That's one. Number two. All right, now when I knee, Actually, uh, knee me anywhere. See how I just did that? Yeah. So sometimes you can just look where the knee's coming and wherever you're holding, you just push forward and pop, pop your hips back. So my torso goes back. So that creates two, three, four inches and the knee will either glide past me or just the end of it will touch me. So you're just taking the edge off. So it's a really quick, really quick defense. Sometimes you don't have time to spin or whatever. You can just pop, pop it out and you know, the knee won't, won't hit you. So I'm going to throw a couple of knees at you. So I pop out yeah, your arms. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, at the same time, you pop your butt out. Okay. Boop. That's it. Easy. Boop. Yeah. And you just time it. So you're looking, you wait. Boop. And that's it. Now I'll try to touch you. Boom. Yeah. See, I didn't even and look how tall I am. Yeah. Good. But, um, stance, but if I do this, like, mm -hmm. I guess I could do that. No, that's it good. Matter, you right? could do that. So okay. grab me. Wait, let, let me try it. Knee. You can you can stay there or knee. <clears throat> oh, okay. You can do either. But be abru abrupt with your with your uh, with your arms. <clears throat> you know, and pop it out. We'll we'll do two more. Okay. So here. Good. Not too much, not like too much. Yeah. Just kinda but stay in a good st okay. good stance. Alright. That's that. Now, what uh, a good way to do this. So let's say I do a private one-on-one -on -one session, for example. 
I'll teach three, three components to, to, to the clinch, and then at the end we'll just freestyle it, and then you gotta mix it up. I guess we could do that today. Okay. Now the final one is, a lot of people, they'll clinch like this, and they're both in a distance where it's a dangerous, a dangerous range. It's a fighting range. So, which is, it's not good because you're open and so, so staying here, if you just stay here, then you're both vulnerable. Mm -hmm. What's good is like, boom, your knee, you come close, you stay close. And when I'm ready, when I decide, so when I'm close, um, I'm safe, I'm keeping myself safe. And when I decide to knee, I'll pull her out, boom, step in, stay close. So you got to play with the range. So you want to get, to be safe, you stay close. Where, where she's not able to knee me. And then when you, when you decide, you, you break forward. When you go close, you just don't want to do this. Because a lot of people do that too. But, funny. yeah, it looks funny, but it's not just that. If you go down and you grab in here and you pull, pull there and you can throw me forward. Yeah. So when people are like that, you can shoot underneath, squeeze, lift, and you're going to throw them. But if just a, a few degrees before that, you just maintain this. So look, I'm something like that. So if you went to shoot, shoot. So, so what, what I mean by shoot is you're going to go underneath, grab oh. my lower back. So we're here. Yeah, I could just pull it out easily. Okay. But if I was like that, grab me. I'm gone. I'm, there's a lot of things she can do to me there. So anyway, stay close. To, to stay close, this is a good habit. So have a, have a look at how I knee. So I'll go knee and then I'll step in. Knee, so instead of bringing it back, you go knee, step in. Keep your head safe too. A lot of people are like this when they clinch. Bam, dangerous for elbows. When I'm like this, it's not gonna be able to, to touch my face. There's, there's not much you can do here. And then I keep my hips almost touching her hips. So, so just think, just remember this is safe. I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. I decide to knee here, I knee, and then I step in. When you step in, you can pull them in too. So at the same time, so boom, step in, we're here, boom, step in, all right? So you, you're going to practice that. Okay. You haven't done this one before, have you? Not really, no, not really. No? But okay, cool. So let's say you throw a knee, boom, mm -hmm. yeah, but not too tense. Just, okay. just casually walk in. Okay. Boom, you're walking casual, boom, you're walking casual. Okay. Yeah. Boom, you're walking casual, good. But don't let that go. Oh, yes. <laughs> stay, so you have to stay on me. Okay. Go. Boom. Walk in casual. Then when you decide, yeah, boom. Yeah. Try the other one. Okay. Boom. But you hit me on the hip. You got to hit higher. Boom. That's better. One more. Boom. All right. Cool. All right. So there's those three. So what was the first one? Um, the first one was uh, rotate step. Yeah, so step in, turn when I need. Yep, turn, yeah. Sometimes you can just just do it uh, anytime. You don't have to wait from you don't have to wait for a need to come. So you can yeah, just as it. you're moving around, spin around. What else? Drum off. What second, second one is uh, bring your butt back. When I need. When you need. Uh huh. And then the third one is just being close. Um, after you knee, stay close. Yeah. All right. Should we freestyle? Okay. Thirty seconds of it. Sure. So we'll just play around, clinch, and tr and so. I'll I'll give you a 30 seconds okay. and then maybe do one of each if you can. All right, All right cool. So we'll play. So you're in danger. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then get close. A little higher. Knee okay. higher. Good. Give me a little spin. You haven't done that yet yet. Step and spin. Whoop. And then, yeah. Step and spin. One more. Whoop. And knee. Boom. All right. All right. You did all three. Good job, man. All right. Hard work. Now I'll show you how to add elbows to your clinch training. So when you do this, make sure you have a partner you can trust. All right. So we're, we're going to clinch. So what we're going to do is the reason why it's good to add elbows in clinch, it's not only for actually the elbows, but it's also to expose your, your uh, weak, weak arms. So you know when it's loose, you don't even realize it's loose. Mm -hmm. 
But if I pop the elbow, that's, that's a feedback to tell you, oh damn, I wasn't firm there, right? So, and I'll show you, this is a safe way to do it. Um, pretty much the only way to do it. All right, so we're here. Now let's say I feel a little looseness here. Let's say I need you. Mm -hmm. And usually when you need someone, one of the arms goes loose. If you knee hard, like if you're clinching or, or fighting and boom, you land a knee, one arm's gonna uh, give out. That's when, bam, you throw the elbow. So let's say, we're just gonna simulate it now. Boom, I need, and this arm went loose, loose. Listen, mm -hmm. yeah. Now from here, you hit the you hit the the shoulder, the tricep, the sh the shoulder, and that simulates uh, a cross elbow. That simulates el elbow to the head, right? In a fight, it's exactly the same. You just shift it a couple of inches higher to the head instead. So look, we're here. This is loose. Bam, right? But in 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 sparring, boom. You just hit here. Now when you spar, be careful. Don't hit with the point. You hit with the, the forearm. If you make uh, more than two mistakes in five minutes with your partner, cease. Don't do it. Um, you're not good enough. You have to slow it down. You know, you, go, um, uh, go by injuries. If, uh, if someone's getting hurt, if you're doing a drill and one person's getting hurt, um, you've got to take it one, two notches down. You should get hurt zero. Don't, all right? So very, very important. So from here, make that loose, pop, cool. Now let's say, let's say I need, or, or as we're clinching, I, could, I felt a bit of looseness here, and my arm's on the inside. Now to simulate the head, I'll just hit her chest. So boom, like that. Now when you hit the chest, don't hit the point. Just hit straight, straight. When you do the elbow to the head, it, you're gonna, um, you're gonna, what's the word? Follow through, extend a little differently, but you just make it tiny modifications. But you just do that, that, that movement. That's training your mind to know, oh, when I feel this, bam! You know, when I feel the looseness here, bam! You know, they're, they're little cues, the little cues to tell you what, what to do. And, and you can add them in, because that's gonna, when you do them in, in clinching, it's good because it, you're training yourself to look for those cues, to feel them. Because otherwise you won't know that they're there. Does that make sense? So let's let's do this. The in this drill, I'm gonna I'm gonna purposefully make one arm loose, and you're gonna give me an elbow. First, let's let's make sure the elbows feel good and it doesn't hurt me. So elbow, boom, yeah. And and when you elbow, you have to use your body more. Okay. So let, let me do it. Watch. Yeah. See how I kind of put a step, because that's where you get your power. It's not from the arm, it's from the boom, the body weight. You, 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 push the body weight in that direction. So let's say we're here and this arm is loose, this arm is loose. You're gonna go for the chair, yeah. But see, you put your point in my, oh, okay. yeah. Lucky it wasn't any harder, cause that hurts. Okay, okay. So. Boom, yeah, yeah. But you don't put, you just kinda, it's, this is one piece. Oh. One piece, yeah. You don't go and then throw your arm. Okay. Make it one piece, so here. <laughs> Boom, yeah, that's better. And not for too long. Okay. So watch me. Just I'll just. Okay. Go. Boom, yeah. Now let's say this arm is loose now. No, you gotta, boom, not bad, but not here. You gotta go up here. There. Boom, yeah, again. Boom, good, all right. Let's do, take your time though. Okay. 30 seconds and I'll exaggerate it. I'll, so I'll really make it loose so it's obvious. It's good, it's, uh, when you're learning something, it's very good to exaggerate it. Then you narrow it down and make it more subtle, more realistic. But first, exaggerate to highlight something that you want to learn so you can recognize it. And then, yeah, and then once you, once you see it, you can challenge yourself and you know, make it more subtle. So right now we're going to move, and, th and, th and this is to prevent injuries. We go, boom. So I see, I'm, I'm firm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, that's perfect. That works. <laughs> boom. Boom. <clears throat> yeah, good. Perfect. Boom, yes. Now imagine I took, you know, like a lot of people that they'll take two hands off to change a position. You got everything. Yeah. You got any elbow you want. <coughs> so I learned the hard way because that happened to me once. I, uh, I had no idea about that first elbow fight and I copped at least 30 elbows in, the, in, in 
in one fight, like at least. It's, you know, I couldn't count them all and I, had, I could not figure it out for the life of me until when I watched the video and figured it out <laughs> just because I took two hands off at the same time. So you can skip that mistake. Boom, boom, yeah. Boom, not bad. Boom. There's nothing there for you. Maybe spin, maybe spin. And that got loose, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So let's try that again. Let's say you spin and then that, bam, yeah. So you can create those, um, you can create those openings. You, you can spin them around, knee them, you know, uh, you know, move forward, move back, like change positions and just wait for one of the arms for them to get distracted. They, you know, they're not gonna be focused on everything all at once. And as soon as that one relaxes, bam, there's your elbow.